A 13-year-old child books a ticket on an airplane, drives himself to the airport, gets through security with no identification, and flies across the country all by himself. It happened. But how? Here's ABC Sharon Alfonsi. Airplanes have always fascinated Kenton Weaver. It's really nice, and I like to fly a lot. But his parents never imagined their 13-year-old son would go to such great lengths to fly, booking and boarding a flight all by himself from his home in Boca Raton, Florida, to Chicago, and then booking a second flight on to San Jose, California. I really enjoyed it. Um, I got to talk to a few people. Kenton, who has Asperger's syndrome, a form of autism, reportedly stole his father's credit card, bought an airline ticket, snatched his dad's car, and then drove down the interstate to the Fort Lauderdale airport. I got in it. Um, I turned, put in the key in the ignition, started it up, put it into reverse, backed it out. It's what happened next that is perhaps most surprising. Ken, who doesn't have a passport, a driver's license, or a photo ID, somehow got through security onto not one, but two flights. I understand that it was not a direct flight. So he had to get off a plane, get back on another plane, all without anybody, you know, raising a question. Kenton says he used his report card as an ID. Federal security rules do not require minors to have a photo ID, but to show proof of their birthday. And Southwest policy only requires a parent to bring a child to the gate if that child is under 11 years old. After 11, the child can check themselves in. If someone like my child can do it, other people can figure out how to do this as well. Policies about the age a child can travel alone on a plane differ from airline to airline. Ken's mother was worried sick, but delighted to hear he was at the airport and safe. I wasn't shocked that Kenton was able to manage this. I mean, he, he just is a very different type of child. And now the boy who loves to fly is hoping to avoid a good old-fashioned grounding. For Good Morning America, Sharon Alfonsi, ABC News, New York. And now that he's safe, we can say it was Kenton's excellent adventure. Yeah, I'm glad he's I, safe mm -hmm. and sound. But report card, that was quick thinking. Yeah, to it use really that. was. And even though he was driving on that highway, mm. it looked like a four-lane highway there. He says he was only going 10 miles an hour, so a lot of drivers were going like this as they went by. I wonder if he is going to be grounded now, get yeah. grounded. Hmm.